Hey there, Simon here from AQ Outdoors, just checking in with a quick review on the Wilderness Systems Pungo family of kayaks. The Pungos are a recreational kayak designed largely for paddling flat water, and they do come in three sizes. They come in a 105, a 120, and a 125, and those numbers just basically refer to the length of the boat, so 10 and a half feet, 12 feet, and 12 and a half feet. The weight capacity on these models ranges from about 300 pounds in the 105, all the way through to about 350 pounds in the larger 125. The Pungos have been around for as long as I can remember and have been ultra popular, probably the most popular recreational kayak we've seen through AQ over our years here. There's a couple of reasons I think that they've been so popular. One is the seat. The phase three seat system is easily adjustable on the fly and gives recreational kayakers an ultra comfortable ride while they're paddling. And also the hull design, it's really, really easy to use. It's got a nice built-in keel, which provides great tracking, so you're not gonna be paddling around in circles. And it's also maneuverable enough that if you do wanna play around with it on slow moving rivers, that that's a possibility too. But basically overall, it's just a super easy boat to use. So when we look at the different sizes of the Pungo, the 105 is definitely the most compact, easy to transport and easy to store. I would sort of recommend that to people who are thinking of mainly paddling on smaller sheltered lakes where wind is not really an option and you're maybe not looking at traveling great distances. Also slow moving class one rivers where you'd like a little more maneuverability, that's a kind of a nice space there for the 105. The 120 and the 125 with their longer water line are definitely a little bit more comfortable for covering more distance with a little bit less effort. And if you get into a little bit of wind here and there, it's going to perform a lot better. You do sacrifice a bit in maneuverability and obviously they're slightly larger boats, so they are a little bit heavier. The 120 and the 125 are pretty much the same, but 125 is a slightly larger frame, so designed for larger paddlers. The 120 is designed with smaller paddlers in mind. For many of the recreational paddlers we talk to, comfort is a primary concern, and Wilderness Systems over the years have really nailed that with the phase three seat system. So it's adjustable in three ways. So you can adjust the seat camber backwards and forwards to help put you in a more aggressive or less aggressive position depending on how you're feeling and what you're paddling. You can also raise the seat up so it supports your hamstrings. This basically takes pressure off your lower back and means over a long day of paddling the chance of lower back pain is lessened greatly. You then also have a fan favourite which is the adjustable height seat back. So you have the lazy boy mode which is way up almost between your shoulder blades or if you wanna get down and boogie and you've got a paddle somewhere and you're trying to put in some miles, you can lower the seat down. This also works better if you have a spray skirt on the boat. So that lower seat height is better for a spray skirt. It's really great for adjusting the outfitting of the seat on the fly on those longer days out on the water. On top of the seat system, you also have well-built and easily adjusted foot braces. And there's also a very easy to use storage hatch in the back, which is kept dry with a glued in bulkhead. This is also a fantastic safety feature because if you do happen to flip your kayak over, which is very challenging because it is super stable, it means that at least that back compartment of your boat stays full of air and not water. So it keeps buoyancy in the boat, which means A, it's not gonna sink, but B, it can also help you perform a self-rescue if you've learned those skills. If I had to look at downsides of the, of the Pungo family is if you're looking for a boat that is gonna cross over well into sort of splashy class two river paddling, the big cockpit and the low rocker profile is gonna make it not ideal for that, especially the 120 and the 125 because they don't have a ton of maneuverability. So you're kind of on track a lot of the time. And so in the river, that's not necessarily what you're after. The big cockpit is fantastic for comfort. In the bigger boats, if you've got small dogs and such, they can fit in there with you as well. But compared to boats with smaller cockpits, using a skirt on the Pungo is, is kind of awkward, although it is possible. So the Pungos are not an entry level price point boat, but you do get a ton of value in performance and features for the amount of money that you're spending on them. It's hard to go wrong with them for recreational lake paddlers. They're really easy to paddle. They're super comfortable, easy to adjust. So that's it. That's just some quick thoughts on the Pungo family of kayaks from our experience that we've had with them over the last 18 years. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them below. If you'd like to see more great content from AQ Outdoors, consider subscribing or check us out at aqoutdoors.com.